YouTube, Louie here. Today we're going to do a uh, pretty interesting experiment um, involving the, mag the magnet test for silver. And we are going to, I just purchased some Neomidian magnets that uh, I will show you and show you where I got them and show you how I'm gonna do the test. Uh, today we are going to test um, some bullion here from uh, RMR, a Royal Mint. We're gonna test some pandas. We're gonna test uh, some uh, Louis poured silver, Scottsdale stackers, Geigers, copper, brass, Mexican coinage, and most of all, we're going to test uh, this uh, ingot, this vintage ingot that I purchased recently um, that uh, has no maker mark on it, and maybe some of these other uh, vintage ingots as well. Um, oh yeah, and some Jaeger poured silver. So uh, let's, uh, let's get to it. Uh, as you know, uh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher, CCT, a long-standing member of the community, makes these uh, beautiful uh, coin testing slides which uh, have rare earth magnets. I imagine he uses the Neomidian as well. Um, and when your coin is small enough to, uh, to fit down that slide, uh, that works pretty well. But if you get into a heavier piece, you know, like a three ounce piece here, it's going to, um, it's, it's gonna go pretty fast. So therefore, you need um, another method to test, okay? That, that's great for one ounce coins, but you need another method to test. Now, um, this is, um, this is a, a piece dollar, and I think the person who gave me this thought they weren't positive if it was real or not, so uh, let's go ahead and do a, let's go ahead and put this down the slide. This we'll just put this down a CCT slide. And that seems to work uh, pretty well. Okay, so I'd say that's real. Let's go ahead and weigh it as well. And for those of you that know the weight of a piece dollar, uh, tell me if uh, 0.86 uh, total. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. 0.86 OZT. Uh, let's get this on to um, grams. Uh, yeah, there's grams. Okay. Uh, 26.9 grams on that piece dollar. So you guys tell me if that uh, sounds right. But uh, so that is the purpose of uh, the CCT slide, which works really well. But when you get into some of these bigger things, like this ingot I just bought, which is uh, a pound of vintage silver or one of these beautiful uh, Royal Mint refinery ingots. I'll give you a close-up of that. Uh, these, are, these are just stunning. Uh, this is A-Series 2015 Royal Mint refinery, uh, descendant of the Rothschild Mint. Beautiful ingots that uh, I'm keeping for, uh, for the long term, planning on some good appreciation on those since uh, no one really has any. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and do the unboxing first of the magnets, okay? So they came in this little box here. I purchased 50, all right? And uh, they came in a little plastic bag, and here they are. All right, they're all stuck together. They, they are incredibly powerful. Let me get that box out of here. So these magnets need to be handled with extreme care and you don't want to get it anywhere near your mouth or, you know, you don't want to swallow it or pinch yourself with it. Uh, the strength of these are uh, N, N48s, and I believe they go up to N52, but these are N48s. And the size, 5 16 by 1 8. So these are really small. I considered getting a larger size, um, but uh, for smaller coins, I thought the small one will be able to test the... Uh, the, the, the rolling friction easier with a smaller um, rare earth magnet. Uh, let me read you, if you're thinking about buying some of these, and I'll put some links below, um, you have to read uh, the warnings. I had these out with my 13 year old and I uh, had to really, really be careful. Uh, he didn't get them near his braces or, you know, God knows, you know, bad things can happen. Uh, handle with extreme caution. Keep away from children and pets. Do not put in nose or mouth. Magnet can stick to intestines, causing serious uh, injury or death. Seek immediate attention. Keep several feet away. Uh, do not let them leap together. They can shatter and the coating can break off. 
and uh, lodge in your eye. Uh, keep above uh, 80 Celsius. Uh, no, uh, they lose strength if they're heated really high. Uh, okay, so there they are. Let me see if I can put this, uh, put this camera down here. We've had all the warnings. Can you see those? No. All right, and these are really, really fun to play with. I don't have a lot of space here, but of course, you know, they, they will attract each other. And then the opposite poles, oopsie, the opposite poles will repel, as you might think. Now, what I've done is I've taken some of these, because uh, they are somewhat hard to handle. They fly, they fly together really easily, as you can see. And I put them in coin flips, um, just to individually package them, but you can, you know, see how easily they are, the, the power of this thing. Oh, didn't mean to do that, hold on. Now see what happened? That busted right through that flip. That busted right through there, and now that flip is gone. <laughs> so they are certainly powerful. Um, yeah, for re for repelling there. Yeah, you see, you just don't want to do that. They can snap your fingers. Uh, of course, you can get nearly any size magnet you choose, but there are some, as you get to uh, five, ten times larger than this, you can literally crush your finger uh, in between uh, in, in between the magnets if they attract. See that? See, there's plenty of power there. Anyway, so it's a lot of fun to, uh, to put one of these on a piece of paper and uh, you kind of move it around like a magic trick, right? That's actually not enough cardboard in between. Anyway, but I, I digress. So I'm gonna take one of these little magnets and I'm gonna start testing some of these bars, all right? Okay, so let's grab one of these off of here. You have to slide them. You can't really pry them, all right? And uh, let's go ahead and see how that rolls off that angle hard. There it goes, nice, slow roll. Okay, so there is the angle hard. Let's put that aside. Uh, let's go ahead and do a um, uh, Perth Mint bullion bar. Uh, that is a uh, 10 ounce Perth Mint. Get you a little bit of focus. Okay, here we go. Nice, slow roll on that one. Okay, that worked really well. Perth Mint, clean clean bill of health. Um, now let's go over to, um, let's see, I wonder if it will work through plastic. Hold that one. Let's see if the Silver Slacker uh, gear, uh, it'll go through plastic. Oh yeah, it goes right, so it tests right through the plastic. Slacker, you got a clean bill of health. All right, let's keep moving here. How about we test it on, I gotta get back, where was I? Uh, how about we test it on Dixie Silver Miner's copper bar? That far out, check out Dixie Silver Miner if you haven't already, he's pouring great stuff. This is his copper gear bar. I believe he said it's 999 copper. So um, let's first test a copper round, right? Get it close up. Okay, let's first test a copper round because did you know that copper and silver both share similar properties? And yes, the copper has a similar role. If we want to compare copper to um, silver, now of course this is a 90% a uh, US peace dollar, but here's the copper roll. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. Here's copper. Okay, and here is silver. Very similar. Let's do a copper and a silver ingot. So we'll do Dixie's copper ingot, and then we'll do um, a silver ingot. Oopsie. Uh, let's try this uh, Jackson Precious Metals 
uh, let me get back down here. So let's do the copper and the silver. Uh, first, we'll do the copper. That's Dixie's. Rolling nice and slow. And then we'll do the silver, the Jackson Precious Metals. Rolling nice and slow. Okay, they seem to be about the same uh, rate of descent. So let's get both those off of there. And now move on to uh, this... Uh, oh, what did I just do with it? I think I just set that magnet down and it, it went back to uh, to daddy here. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me get this back off of here. All right, let's go ahead and do the RMR bar. Beautiful 500 gram British uh, silver. The reason nobody has the RMR bars is within the UK, uh, they charge the VAT, but I was able to buy this from Royal Mint Bullion um, with no VAT, although there was, a, there was a heavy shipping costs. Okay, here we go. And there is the RMR silver going, that's through the plastic, so you don't need to take it out of the plastic. All right, so that was nice. Then let's go ahead and do, what do you say? A sheet of pandas, right? You think this'll work? I don't know, let's give it a try. Focus for you. Oh, no. So here we have uh, plastic and we have capsules, and it's just not gonna, it's not gonna tell. So, let's see how these pandas are looking. Any spotting? Well, those are looking pretty good. I've been tough on the pandas lately, but uh, those spotted pandas I got really set me off. Okay, uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and do this uh, 50 uh, centesimos uh, Balboa. Oh, beautiful, that worked just fine. I don't recall if that's a 0 0.9 or 0 0.8. Now, when it, hits, when it hits a staple, watch. See that? That's the metal. Okay, we've done the Balboa. Let's go ahead and try brass, huh? This again is from Dixie Silver Miner. This is a brass skull, okay? And I want everybody to go over to Dixie Silver Miner and ask him for a brass skull, because you have got to get one of these. This is the coolest skull, bar none, in my collection right now. It's a sand cast brass skull. They're gonna be a little pricey because brass is hard to come by. But let's go ahead and test uh, Mr. Scully here. All right, are you still with me? Well, that went down pretty fast. I don't really know the, um, the rare earth properties of brass, but woo, but we certainly had a, uh, certainly had a less than full speed. That's full speed. So um, definitely brass has some of the characteristics um, of, you see, they keep, they keep flying back together. Anywhere they find each other, they fly back together. Um, okay, now, the time has come. Um, well, we can do a Scottsdale stacker, huh? Do a few more of these. A beautiful Scottsdale stacker. I got this one for a dollar over spot. Nicely done, nicely done, Scottsdale. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, we have a, uh, we have a beautiful Ravenhawk round. Let's see if I gave Raven, uh, real, real silver here. Woohoo! That tests. Okay. Contact him if you want to buy a Raven round. Ravenhawk coins. Good dude. All right. Let's do, uh, uh, rock your stack ingot. Here is, a uh, rotationally poured. Poured this on my record player. You won't see pour lines like that on any bar anywhere on earth. So let's see how this rolls, huh? The eight ounces. Nice. That's very reassuring. Oh, there they go again. Okay, and now for the final reveal. The final reveal is, oh man, how about we test this one? This old bitchin' bar. Um, this is, um, what was this, New World? New Hope. This was a New Hope ingot, which uh, I think you guys have seen. Very old ingot. Let's see how they did. 
Nice, nine, nine, nine. Okay, that's what these vintage ingots should roll like. Now let's go ahead and test the mystery ingot, the one I bought off eBay. Uh, it was noted as a pound. And uh, let's go ahead and weigh this up because it wasn't, um, it wasn't 12 ounces, which is a troy pound. It was 14 point something, making it closer to a normal pound. I don't know how you pronounce that word, but you know, like if you buy a pound of bananas. So let's see what this weighs. All right, almost there. Okay, I've got this on grams. Um, let's just go ahead and put it on um, OZT. Okay, there it is on OZT. And let's weigh this baby. It's, uh, it's marked as one pound, you know. I love this ingot. All right, so there it is, 14.6 OZT. That's a Troy. If we convert that to um, ounces, regular ounces, I can't, I can't see it, that's grams. Here's regular ounces, and there it is. It's, weigh, it's weighing in at 16 regular ounces, 16.02. So it is, in fact, a pound, like a pound of bananas. And then when you put it back to Troy, it's 14.6. So a sizable, sizable, chunky ingot. But now on to the piece de resistance. Is this ingot, this beautiful old ingot, which weighs one pound, is it silver? Or was it faked up by somebody in their garage and never stamped for obvious reasons? Here we go. You ready? Look at that, guys. Look at that. 999. I believe that's 999, huh? The roll. Let's test the roll on a 999. Nice and slow. To the roll on a 0.9. A little faster. A little faster on the 0.9. So if you wanted to compare the two, you can certainly see slow roll, a little bit faster roll on the 0.9. Do I have sterling here anywhere? Um, no, I don't have any sterling, but I imagine that would be uh, similar to the coin, to the coin deal. You guys want to do a pyromet ingot? Let's check this one out. Might as well test them all since I got it all out. Pyromet, testing nicely. You see that? Uh, let's do this Canadian Royal Mint vintage. Let's see if the Canadians got it going on. Yeah, Canadians doing good. What else we got here? Oh, how about how about this one? Let's test this old um, USVI A mark. Let's test the 10 ounce A mark. Love these bars. It's a little bumpy. It may, may catch. Okay, that's going just fine. The A mark bar tests out. Uh, what am I missing? Um, oh, yeah. How about California Crown Mint extruded 5 ounce? Gotta love these. All right, California Mint, do your stuff. Nice. All right, so uh, here's one more over here. That's everything I showed you, uh, everything I promised you. And um, all I can say, my friends, is...